Both of these guys outstanding wrestlers. Seven and two record for Chris Gonzalez, seven and one for Max Roshan. Here's Michael C. Williams. Tonight here at the Kia Forum in Inglewood, we go now to three five minute rounds in the lightweight division. First, introducing the blue corner. That's six foot weighing in, 155.6 pounds, making his Bellator debut. He enters with seven professional victories, one defeat. He fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Max Roshkov. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner. At five foot 11, weighing in 155.6 pounds as a professional, seven wins with two losses from Chicago, Illinois. He fights out of Sacramento, California, Chris the Lion Gonzalez. And the referee in charge, Frank Trigg. Good. Sound good. Gonzalez looking to bounce back from a loss to the now Bellator MMA lightweight champion, Usman Nurmagomedov. Roshkov comes into his Bellator MMA debut, Ready? riding a two-fight losing Fight. streak. No. Oh. Or make that two-fight winning streak. I apologize. <laughs> right, you don't ride a losing streak. Hey, two-fight winning streak. I don't, don't want to do that to him. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. After, especially after the one loss in the UFC and the, the fallout from what happened in that fight when he was forced to retire in between rounds, took the fight on short notice, was released, went back on the regional circuit, put together back-to-back -back victories, and is now looking to make the most of his opportunity here in Bellator. You're absolutely right. It's, it's, a, it's a great commentary to, towards what happened to him. He took a fight on short notice, and he got exhausted. You, you do a camp for reasons, and that is to build towards that fight, making yourself the best you can be. He went out there under the bright lights. It was too much, man. He burned the gas. It's okay. I'm telling you right now, more he can fight. And like uh, his submission game is outstanding. And like our former Bellator Bantamweight champion, Darion Caldwell, we saw in action earlier tonight. He also wrestled at North Carolina State University. Yeah, I think both these guys, look, both these guys are outstanding wrestlers. Greco Roman for yeah, Chris six Gonzalez. Yes, time Greco Roman All American for Chris Gonzalez. Free style for Rosenkopf, but I, I think it's going to get kind of canceled out. High kick by Gonzalez from the southpaw stance. A lot of feints by Gonzalez. Looking to create an angle for entry. There's a right hand by Roshkoff. It's overhand right by Gonzalez. Chris looking very good in his stand-up right now. Very composed, technically striking well. Trying to throw straight punches, switching back and forth in that stance. That's giving Roscoff a little bit of trouble. Oh, and Gonzalez unholds a right hand that clocked Roshkoff. Roshkoff was going backwards, took some steam off the shot, yep. but still well-placed punch by Gonzalez. The fact that he was going backwards absolutely helped him with that because that thing had a lot of power on it. <laughs> Gonzalez using a lot of speed to crash that space, John, in the entry and trying to just, again, disrupt any rhythm that Roshkov's trying to build. Lateral movement, lots of feints, giving Roshkov lots to consider. And now Roshkov snatching the neck of Gonzalez, and they break. And this is exactly, you can't make that mistake. Oh, Beautiful turn on that yeah, wow. by Roscoff. Talk about wrestling. That was some wrestling there. <laughs> so Chris Gonzalez goes, yep. Yeah, well done. You got that, <laughs> and I got out. Both guys are having fun out yep. there. Final two minutes of the opening round. Trying to collect the data, develop a, an idea of what's in front of the other as again they come together. Nice left hand landed by Max Roscoff. Minute and a half now left in the opening round. Nice. 
I get blocked by Gonzalez. We've seen that Chris Gonzalez is just an outstanding athlete. And if you're going to take a look at the record, like he's faced the better competition. Now, his two losses, one to Goichi Yamauchi, one to the now champion, Uzman Nurmagomedov. You know, that happens, but he has been very competitive in his fights. The only Absolutely. one he really wasn't was that Uzman, he got caught by the, the choke. Yeah, the guillotine choke in the, in the first round, but you're right. That's why they fight. Oh, nice counter right hand by Roshkoff as Gonzalez came in. Absolutely. Oh, and then Gonzalez winding up, and as he was throwing the right hand, Roshkoff changing levels, thinking about a takedown attempt. Yeah, you could tell. Chris was trying to bring that one back. He got caught on that shot. He didn't like it. Came back with a lot of steam on it. You need to just, just relax. Don't start to do things that are going to cause you problems by overextending. Competitive opening round with each now being credited with 15 strikes landed. And when, of course, Gonzalez with a eight to seven edge in terms of punches landed, but um, good stuff here in the first round between Gonzalez and Oroshkov. Really good stuff. Eric Nixick in Max Oroshkov's corner. And Chris Gonzalez, of course, out of Alpha Male and Combat Sports Academy and uh, Hall of Famer Uriah Faber built that team Alpha Male, one of the all-time greats in the smaller weight classes. As we begin round number two. And there is Uriah Faber in the corner of Chris Gonzalez. Gonzalez landing the three punch combination on the break. And there, Roshkov looked for the takedown, does manage to now have take the back of Gonzalez. And Roshkov does have five submission wins, John, including four rear naked chokes. And if I was going to say, if there's an area where I give Roshkov the advantage, it is in a grappling situation looking for submissions. Nice job by Chris Gonzalez trying to work his way out, but he needs to be careful. Good job by Roshkov to go into full Beautiful mouth. Beautiful job by Roshkov. But aggressive by Gonzalez, not willing to accept his fate here Absolutely. and looking to escape, but giving up his neck. Beautiful scramble. Great work by Chris Gonzalez. That's what we talk about is do not settle, and he never settled in that. Oh, he heard him, and he just dropped him. Look at that arm, it's back. He's in trouble, he's done, he's done. And the fight is over. Chris Gonzalez with his third knockout victory, stunning Max Roshkoff. Chris Gonzalez stopped Roger Huerta at Bellator 255 and then landed the head kick and punches against Sada Wad at Bellator 273 and here at Bellator 290. Chris Gonzalez records his third knockout victory in the Bellator MMA cage and his fourth or third overall, fourth overall. Take a look at what happens here. He hits the top of the head there. You see that little stumble that yeah. stunned him and then Taps him right on the forehead. Look at where his left arm is at. See how it's back? He has no ability to control his body right there. Beautiful work by Chris Gonzalez. Watch again. That shot right there, right on the forehead. It puts him back and it dis, just discombobulates him. Look at him where his arm's out. Chris Gonzalez finishing him off. Man, beautiful. Showing the power there by Gonzalez. And then going after him. Big win for Chris Gonzalez coming off of that loss to Nurmagomedov. Let's go to Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end. One minute, 22 seconds into round number two. The winner by TKO Chris, the Lion Gonzalez.